Hello everyone, this is Faiza from Taylor by Faiza. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will be teaching you how to make a box top. It's a quick tutorial. Um, the one I have made is actually a reversible one. So it looks like this from the back. I have made a button placket because I've made it for uh, my younger daughter and uh, it would be easier for her to wear with this one so this packet looks uh, absolutely beautiful if it is on the front side or at the back side that's why i've done this one i also have given a little bit of shape and then um just to make it a little more exciting i have used two different fabrics so that she can wear it either way um i have used a bias binding technique over here so you can um, uh, check a video tutorial on my youtube how to do this uh, it's it's part two from remove uh, uh remove the call I, I will link in the description box uh, it's uh, how to remove a collar part two in that i've showed you how to uh, finish off a neckline with a bias binding um so you can watch that to learn about that one i will be uploading a tutorial for how to do this button placket as well then i have given a shape so it's optional you can give a shape or you can keep it straight and then uh, this is um i have used two fabrics so you can make it um all with one fabric uh, whichever is convenient for you um so yeah since summer is starting i thought it's going to be a um, good project if you're a teenager you can make it for yourself or if you're an adult you can make it for your children who are going to school so um I have followed a pattern from a t-shirt so just grab one of their favorite t-shirts that fits them well which is a good size for them so I have that one and then I am making it for my older daughter so I am using the same fabric for the front and then she loves blue so I'm going to use blue um, on the other side and then again this is also going to be a reversible one so let's get started okay so I have set my fabric um, and I have folded it um the pretty side together and this is just one layer of fabric because i'll be making um the other side with a different fabric so um i'll put the shirt on top of it so this is the front side of the shirt and i folded it into half and i'll put it right here Okay, so from the top, I have left about half an inch. And then I've placed the shirt over here. Now I'll make the markings for neckline. Shoulder. Armhole. And then this is a highly customizable pattern. So if you want it to be more wider, you can do that. This is the length. This is the width of the shirt. adding seam allowance over here because we'll be sewing from here and here so it will get uh, more shorter that's why i'm adding a seam allowance on the shoulder side i've zoomed in to show you how i'm giving a shape at the bottom this is the bottom of the fabric it's probably about one inch i'm just taking i'm, I'm using my hands and not any ruler
Now one layer of fabric is ready, so I will uh, cut the exact same pattern for the other one. Okay, so I have set my fabric. The other one, again, this is just single layer and I folded it into in toys. This is the fold and I've put the fold on the fold. And then I will replicate this pattern exactly the same way. The only thing I would like to change is to give a little bit of shape over here. Now I'll cut it. Okay, so I will make a button placket on this one. I will link uh, the tutorial in the description box and you can check to follow if you would like to make it this is optional so you can skip it if you would like to uh, one thing that i would like to mention if you would like to add some a uh, length to the sleeves then this is the right time to add some ex um, some extra length on both of the pieces and then i will finish off the neckline with the bias uh, tape so you can also check the um, tutorial for this one as well uh, let me go ahead and prepare these pieces and then i'll tell you how to put these together Okay, so my button packet is now attached, as you can see. Now what you'll do is take the other piece of fabric and you'll align it from the shoulders and you'll sew the shoulder seam over there and over here. Don't forget to back tack. Okay, so now I have uh, sewed the shoulders together, both sides. Now I will finish off the neckline with the bias tape, bias binding, and then I'll show you how to put this shirt together. Alright, so I have finished my neckline with the bias technique, as you can see. Now I'll Okay, so I have sewed this all the way to the bottom and I've searched it too this as well now the last step is to hem the bottom and the sleeves and your shirt is ready so to hem what i'm basically going to do is that i will fold it one time half an inch or quarter inch whichever is convenient i like half inch so half an inch and then one more time half an inch and you can start anywhere when you get to the seam just make sure it's on one side either either side on this side or that side and then you fold it so one time and then one more time you sew it all the way across you can start it from anywhere and then back tack when you get back to the same point and you will do the same thing over here making sure this is the sleeve so you'll do the same thing over here you'll just flatten out the sleeve and then like i'll show you over here because this is a neckline so if it's in the, that direction you would make sure that this is also in this direction and then you'll fold it one time and one more time and sew it all the way across. So I will hem the bottom and hem the sleeves and then I'll show you the final results. And I will be sewing on this edge, not on this edge, not on the folded edge, but the edge that is going inside, which is open. Okay. Okay, so I have um, put the buttons on, hem the sleeves, as you can see, and hem the bottom. So now it's ready. It's a reversible one. The bottom is ready so you can wear it from this side or from this side this is the other one that's a size small okay so if you like these videos do let me know try this at home um, if you would like me to uh, make a tutorial on some uh, of the projects uh, do let me know in the comments below i will try to make videos on that as well and subscribe to my youtube channel so that i can keep making um, good videos for you thank you